DK Oldies has been the talk of the town for a while now. They have been under a lot of heat with them being called scammers and the legitimacy of their business. I have seen a ton of YouTube videos out there exposing DK Oldies for not refurbishing their consoles, and there is clear as day evidence that the consoles have never been touched on the inside. Jacob R, for example, he bought a PlayStation 3 from DK Oldies. When he unboxed it, it ran games fine. He played Castlevania, he played Final Fantasy. There was no issues. He decided to open it up, and when he did, it was like a desert storm of dust, and none of the chips had new thermal paste on them. It was a broken in, filthy console. Review Tech USA bought multiple consoles from DK Oldies, God bless his wallet, one of them being that original Xbox. And as you guys may know, those have a heap of problems that affect the longevity of it, such as bad capacitors, faulty disk drives, overheating issues. They just used really poor quality parts at the time. It took a few tries for his DK Oldies console to read discs, but it eventually worked. The disk drive or the sensor was probably going bad like we just had previously mentioned. And he decided to open it up and he saw all of the swollen capacitors on the power supply unit. That is a big no-no, you need to replace those. If those were to leak and leak asset all over the board and the components, that can cause catastrophic failure of the board. Retro Gaming Guy on the other hand, he bought a Nintendo 64 from DK Oldies just like I did. And when he took his out of the package and tried to turn it on, it would not work, just like mine. He decided to open it up and inside it was completely filthy and dusty and no one has been inside the console. So all of these consoles have at least one thing in common besides the Nintendo 64's that were broken. There is absolutely no excuse for that. We're only human. The consoles weren't touched on the inside. Nobody physically went in there to inspect any of the components. And as you can say, they weren't refurbished like DK Oldies has claimed that all of their consoles are, but let's take an actual look at the definition of refurbishment. So refurbishment is the distribution of products, generally electronics, that have been previously returned to a manufacturer or a vendor for any reason, not sold in the market or new launch of a product. Refurbished products are normally tested for functionality and defects before they are sold to the public. They are repaired by the original manufacturer and resold, or any third party such as DK Oldies or GameStop or anybody who is certified in working on them or knows how to work on them. Different companies and industries may have different types of refurbished products, meaning different definitions for the word refurbished. Since the electronics industry does not have a firm widely accepted definition of refurbished, its exact meaning can vary from one product to the next or one company to the next. So that means each company can have a different definition of refurbished that they are giving to their customers. In various cases, refurbished may be synonymous with reconditioned, refreshed, repaired, recertified, or like new. So it seems like refurbishment is a bare bones definition and it is not ubiquitous with all manufacturers. You need to have some more premium attributes alongside the word refurbishment to make it more effective, such as reconditioned or recertified. So let's take a look at the definition of reconditioned. So reconditioning is a more thorough and costly process because it is more rigorous and it works towards a higher standard than refurbishing. Reconditioning involves the process of repairing, replacing, and reassembling the products to operational standards. So it seems like reconditioned is what we were all thinking refurbishment meant, right? Like getting in there, replacing suspect capacitors, redoing all the thermal paste, checking the voltage of the fans to make sure they all run efficiently, checking power outputs. These are all attributes to the word reconditioned. Unfortunately, DK Oldies does not guarantee any reconditioned consoles, and they don't have any of those premium attributes connected to the word refurbished like a lot of other manufacturers do, and they do not have an entire list of what they do to each console other than thoroughly tested and cleaned. If you guys remember that video that they posted that they do refurbish consoles, they did exactly what the bare bones definition of refurbishment is. They only fixed when broken. As you can see that Wii was not reading discs. They had to replace the disc drive. So that was the only reason that they took it apart. And when they had it apart, they blew it out with that little leaf blower thing, whatever that was. They tested for functionality. They put a game inside and they made sure it worked. And then they ended up cleaning the outside to make it look presentable. 
That was their entire refurbishment process. That's what they claim to do, unfortunately. If you look at a different company like GameStop, refurbishment for them means that they replace the thermal paste. They will go in there and they will replace the thermal paste. Even though it is poorly done, that's what they claim to do. A company like Apple, they claim that they replace all of the outer shells of each refurbished phone and they also replace the batteries inside of them. That is their refurbishment process. That's what they do. Best Buy advises that Geek Squad refurbishes their consoles and they restore them and make them into like new condition. They also replace thermal paste. They say that this is their process, this is what they do. They also have a grading process as well as a sanitation process for refurbished products. Best Buy also claims in the refurbishment process that they do not refurbish anything in too bad of condition because the end result is not gonna be as good as in like new condition. So instead of refurbishing it, they'll just sell it as used. This brings me to my final point. All companies have their own legal definition of refurbishment in their policies. And just because one company refurbishes a certain way does not mean that other companies do the same thing. At the end of the day, I think DK Oldies knew what they were doing. They were trying to capitalize off of that bland word refurbished. And there's customers out there that think that if I pay this premium, I'm going to get this console that was cleaned head to toe and there was components replaced to enhance the longevity of my system, like thermal paste or capacitors, but that is not the case. DK Oldies only opens up a console if there's something wrong with it. There is evidence of that because they literally posted it in their YouTube video that this is what we do to refurbish consoles. They have been tricking customers using a play on words, basically a loophole. An average customer that sees the word refurbished assumes, I know I do, that it's been reconditioned, that everything has been cleaned and replaced that needs to be to improve the longevity of my system. I mean, if you are paying upwards of three times the retail price on DK Oldies, for the peace of mind, the warranty, the refurbishment, the longevity of the console, you are going to do that because you think that this console has been refurbished, but you meant reconditioned. I think this needs to be brought to the light. DK Oldies in most recent times has been taking a big hit on customers. They have been dropping their prices down to almost what you can get stuff on eBay for now. I took a look at their website and there is a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 for $350. It's a pack. I personally have sold great condition backwards compatible PlayStation 3s on eBay for more than that. So their prices are really coming down. Their prices are taking a hit because their company is going under because people are tired of the bullshit as they should be. In my honest opinion, do not buy anything from DK Oldies. Save your money and go somewhere else if you wanna recharm your nostalgia. To finish this video off, I have been seeing some rumors circulating that there's going to be a class action lawsuit against DK Oldies. They are finally going to get what's coming to them. This is what all of the customers had wanted. I don't know how accurate this information is other than a few screenshots that I saw, but I do know that with DK Oldies being slime balls, Everybody who bought from them in the past had to accept their terms and conditions. And with their terms and conditions, this is one of the points that everybody virtually accepted. Arbitration and class action waiver. Except we're prohibited by law, you agree to waive the right to trial by jury and the ability to participate in any class action regarding your use of the DK Oldies website, your purchase of any products from DK Oldies, or any of these terms and conditions in this policy. That any dispute with DK Oldies regarding your use of the DK Oldies website or any of the purchases from DK Oldies or any of these terms and conditions, this policy will be resolved through negotiation with DK Oldies and an agreement cannot be reached through negotiation. Resolution will be sought on an individual basis only through binding arbitration in the state of Pennsylvania. There's a lot more to go off of, but that's the gist of it. DK Oldies are slime balls for that one, but that's what it says in the fine text. I mean, with a class action lawsuit, Consul is going to have to prove that their client systems were actually not refurbished, and then they're going to look at DK Oldies. They're gonna ask them, what is your definition of refurbished? What did you display on your website for everybody to see? And they are going to tell them tested for functionality and a broad cleaned definition. DK Oldies can never say that they claim more of those premium attributes such as reconditioning 
and they really, I don't know if there's much to go off of. They can say that all that they claimed was tested for functionality, that the system worked, and then that vague clean definition. They can even say refurbished as well as cleaned, just because refurbished is a, such a vague definition that it's just another form of that vague cleaned. I think DK Oldies is conniving and they've been tricking people, especially with how lucrative the video game industry is and how strong nostalgia is to purchase these consoles that you think are reconditioned, but they're actually refurbished with that vague refurbishment definition. It is insane to me, like business practices like this, they do play on words and they do those terms and conditions, sneaky, if you wanna use this website, you have to automatically accept these terms. You can't sue us, it's, it's insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. I just wanted to shed some light on this topic because a lot of people out there, including myself, think that the word refurbishment means the whole shebang and it may for a different company if they use those other attractive attributes next to the word refurbished or that they directly claim that this is what their refurbished means. But for the sake of DK Oldies, their refurbishment process is garbage. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.